Microsoft introduced two new inbox apps in their latest build 22572, Family and ClipChamp. They are also planning to introduce File Explorer tabs, a much-awaited feature. It is not yet official, but you can enable it from this build. How? Well, you're going to see in this video. You will also see the preview of the ClipChamp video editor and some other new features of build 22572. The most awaited feature of File Explorer is here. Microsoft has not officially announced it yet, but you can enable it using a simple tweak. So if you are on build 22572, you can do a simple tweak to enable the tabs in File Explorer. Go to the link in the description and download Vive Tool from GitHub. Now extract it. Then open the folder and copy its address from the address bar. Now open the command prompt as administrator. Then type cd space and paste the address. Press enter. Then copy the command from the description. Paste it here and press enter. Now restart your Windows 11. After the restart, you will see tabs in the File Explorer. You can open several tabs, and the tabs icons change according to the location you have opened. You can also open a new window of the File Explorer. In upcoming Insider updates, Microsoft may introduce it officially. If you don't like the tab and want to disable it, open the Vive tool to the location you copy its address. Then open the command prompt as administrator. Then type cd space and paste the address. Press enter. Then copy the command from the description. Paste it here and press enter. Now restart your Windows 11. Starting with build 22572, you will see ClipChamp pre-installed on your Windows 11. It's a little more advanced than any previous inbuilt video editor in Windows. When you open it for the first time, you will have to sign up with ClipChamp. You can use your Microsoft account to sign up. With this video editor, you get the timeline like any other advanced video editor. But the best part of this editor is that you get lots of stock media and templates. You can split the media, add items on the timeline and delete them. You can add text, music, and graphics to your project. ClipChamp also comes with an inbuilt screen recording. You can record screen and camera or only camera. It also comes with an inbuilt text to speech feature that supports different languages and many voices. All these exciting features could solve your video editing needs, but the only drawback is that it is not entirely free. With the free version, you can only export 480 pixel videos. But if you like the features, the subscription charges of ClipChamp are also attractive. Another inbox app, Family, is basically a web app. You can use it to add family members, track their location, set parental controls, configure screen time, etc. You can do all the things you can do from the Microsoft Family page, and even the interface is the same. There is one small but useful change also. Now you can press the Shift key and right-click to access the Microsoft Old Context menu. Earlier, you had to right-click and press Shift plus F10 to open the full menu. Pressing the Shift key to open the full menu is more accessible, but Microsoft should introduce all options in the normal context menu so that people won't have to press anything extra to access the full context menu. Another change in this build is Microsoft has redesigned the print queue to give it a feel of Windows 11. You can see the thumbnail of the printing document and its progress status. If you click here, you can pause, restart, or cancel the print. So these are the major changes in the Windows 11 build 22572. We will update you if anything new arrives in Windows 11. Like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Press the bell button to receive alerts when we publish videos.